Hello everyone, this is Outrun for a new tutorial. Uh, it might be a pretty long one today. Uh, I will be showing you how to remove shading errors. So first off you need to understand what shading errors are. So I have this car here, let's say Chevel SS. So as you can see here, depending on how you look at it, there are weird shapes forming on the paint and you see you can see through here. So the model got like you you can clearly see that the model got decimated by Roblox. That means that uh, the model has too many triangles, so it's over twenty thousand triangles. Uh, the the this model is over twenty thousand triangles. So Roblox had to decimate it to import it in Roblox. So today we, I will be showing you how to fix that. Um, those shading errors. So first off, you have to have your car, obviously. Uh, I already have it in 3D Simmed. That's the same car, I just have it modified in Studio. And I already have an open file on Blender, but I will sh uh, close that one because we will have to do new things to get it in Blender. So last time I showed you how to export the car as OBJ to import it to Roblox. That's what I did with this one. So the car is already imported, but I need to fix the shading errors. The thing is, if you export to OBJ, Blender will open the OBJ file, but the car will be one and only, like only one model. So the wheels and like everything will be included in the same model. So you can't fix it like that. So what you have to do, is export it as FBX. But there are a few things to keep in mind. So first off, I will convert the textures to the FBX folder I created. And now you will click on plugin export, uh, FBX here, Autodesk FBX files. You save and you, ha so when you will do that, it will be like this. You want to select FBX binary and Z axis up. Now you can press OK, it will export. And now you can close 3D Sim, we don't need it anymore. You can open a new Blender and import your FBX file. So here it is, that's my FBX file. Now what you can do is either select it, open a new Blender file, uh, copy and paste the body, or just select it and press Shift H that will only show what you selected. Now, what we will do is go to press Tab and go to Edit Mode. You can hold Z, go to Wireframe. That makes your car look like transparent. That enables you to basically select anything you see. Because if it's not in wireframe, if I select it like that, what was behind there didn't get selected. So that's why we we go to wireframe. And I will click on that blue Y axis that will face me to the car. Now I will select one half of the car. So we'll select the whole side like this. There we go, that's the car, the side selected. And now you can right click, separate, or just press P, separate, but I like to do right click, separate, selection. So that will se separate everything that you've selected. You can go back to solid. And now, as you can see, it's two models. And one thing I forgot to show you is actually if I go back a bit before I separated. If you go and click on that ball here, you can enable statistics and that shows you how many triangles that part is. So you can see it's over 20,000. So that's why we are 
separating the car. So let me redo that just real quick. Oop. My bad. Was a bit fast there. Oh my god. There you go. So that's everything separated. So right click separate selection. We are back to. Oh, I forgot to. You see, that's why you have to select wireframe. So let's go back to wireframe mode and do that one last time. I rarely do that mistake, but here you go. That's a good example. So now it's separated. You can see that this is 14,108 triangles and this is 14,105 triangles. It does not matter if it's not the same. It's just that it's not like perfectly the same side. Uh, and now you can just select those two faces, file export OBJ uh, and go to your to a new like file where you know you can find them i go to export here ss and i will select grouping object groups and l selected only so that way you only export what you just separated and you export and you do that for everything that you need to to remove shading errors to you just select it split it in half if you need split it again and until it's under 20,000 triangles when you select it. And now I can just go to Roblox, import that SS I just separated. You press import. Right now it's really small, so let's just bring out that, oh, that resize thing. And there you go. If you look closely now, there is not that sort of triangle that they were here and there is not the missing triangle like you, you can see it's there here you can see the missing triangles here they all are, are present so that's how you fix shading errors really kind of easy it's when you get how to do it it's really fast to do you see it took me less than seven minutes with some mistakes I did and with the time I took to explain you and you just have to like export that uh, put it to the same size of your car uh, fit it to your car and it's fixed basically that's how you do it hope that helped a lot of you because I got that like that video request a lot but that's basically how you do it so if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments I will read it I will read them and until next video, see you next time. I might slow down the uploads because I have school uh, starting uh, in a few days, uh, like all of us, I think. We have work or school. Uh, but I should continue uploading, but less often. So that's it for the video. See you next time. That was our run. Peace out.